Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, my name is Sanjeev Advani. I am a real estate entrepreneur. I am looking to bring real estate, property management, and construction news and information to you in an easy to digest format that will help you invest in the future. Today, we're actually gonna be going over a personal problem that I have. So I have a child, a small child, right? He's four years old, great kid. Now I want to be able to send him to college. And obviously, as we go along, college is getting more expensive. When I went to college for the first time around, you were going to regular California state universities for less than $10,000 a year. You could go to UCs for a very nominal price. That number has since pretty much doubled. And if you look at that into the future as well, you figure out oh, education is going to be more important. And so that factor is probably going to increase still. And so some of the financial people that I speak with are telling me that if you want to go ahead and provide an education for your child, just to do a bachelor's degree at within the next kind of 15 years is going to run you from a top university somewhere around a hundred to $250,000. Now, Obviously, I need to plan for that because I can't just put away one hundred dollars to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in the drop of a hat, right? So the best way for me is to look at, oh, how can I use real estate to my advantage to be able to help me pay that off? So now my son, let's say, is going to be going to school. He's going to be eighteen. He's going to college. So it takes him four years then to finish that uh, college degree. And so that's going to put him at twenty two. So at twenty two, we need to be able to have, liquid 200 to uh, 100 to 250 thousand dollars depending on what he's wanting to do now in order to do that what we can do is we can say we can go and just as a simple example use a single family home in a run-of-the-mill neighborhood in your area so for example we'll take my area in my area a, a run-of-the-mill home in a b-class neighborhood one that's been a very stable neighborhood ever since i was little can run you probably about 350,000 for a three bed, two bath, about 1500 square foot home, something that's not too old, right? Maybe 15 years old. And so basically we go ahead and we pick that, that property up, right? And so if we have 350,000 and we go ahead and we're buying this as an investor, we need to have 20% down. So we need to have 70,000 down as a down payment. Now we're going to have 80% left, which is 280,000. So 280,000 is going to be our loan amount. So if we just take with the current interest rates, the assumption is going to be that the payment will be somewhere around $2,000 to $2,200 per month. And so $2,000 to $2,200 per month on a 30-year mortgage. So you think about, well, if I have this property and in 15 years, I need this thing to be able to generate 100 to 250,000 for me so I can pay this college note off and my kid can graduate with no debt as far as a bachelor's education is concerned. Then what we need to do is we need to make sure that we can rent out this house to cover all of those expenses. So at let's say $2,100 a month, we need to be able to rent out this home and be able to pay for all of the expenses that come along with that property taxes, different maintenance and things like that. And so we really wanna have somewhere around $2,400 a month coming in. So with $2,400 a month coming in, essentially what I'm doing is I'm getting this money from a renter. This renter is now paying down my mortgage. Halfway through my mortgage, you would assume that about half of your property is going to be paid off. And so from 350,000, if you take half of that, so we're generally looking at about 175,000. So 175,000 should be paid off from this property by the time that my son then needs to go to college. And I have not spent anything as far as that's concerned. Now, assuming that obviously I get a home that I maybe you know, cannot cover all of the expenses, as long as the rent covers the mortgage payment, then you really only will have a couple hundred dollars a month on average coming out towards funding this education for your child. Now, what that does is that says, well, instead of putting away 250,000 or 200,000 over the next, excuse me, 175,000 over the next 15 years, right? Which if we just did the math here real quick, that would be $11,000 per year, which would be about $972 per month. I can actually just plan to spend about two to $300 per month 
So about one third of that cost and be able to still fund my child's education by using the equity in this home. So it gets even better from here because if you start to now extrapolate that into, well, what if I was to buy a duplex or a triplex or a fourplex? Could I have purchase a property that is $600,000 and have that paid down in half over those 15 years, then be able to use that to completely pay off everything. And then you re-lever the property. So then that way, yes, you do have a little bit of an expense over the future, but then what happens is you now are back to tenants are paying off a large majority of this mortgage. And we don't necessarily have to be putting away a ton of money to be able to make that happen. So just one of the ways that I think about how real estate can affect investors and how we can look at investing for just our families. We don't need to be millionaires or billionaires or trillionaires. Uh, we just want to have enough where we can take care of our families and be able to not have to worry about, well, how am I going to pay for this? How am I going to pay for that? And use the real estate that we have to be able to help us over the future. Now, this is also not taking into account the fact that real estate appreciates over time. So given a 2% appreciation rate over the next 15 years, you have about a 30% appreciation in the property value, which means that $350,000 property should now be worth somewhere around $450,000. And if that $450,000 property means you also have earned about $100,000 in equity, which means you should be able to theoretically pay off all of that education expense, and you'll still be back to essentially zero, but you'll have a property now that is going to, again, be paid off and is going to uh, provide for your children's future. So just some of the things that I think about, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment below. If you think this brought you value, please like and subscribe. We're trying to bring actionable real estate content to you in an easy to digest format. And we look forward to being able to do that into the future. If you have any comments on how we can improve or topics that we could cover, please feel free to comment those as well. And we'll definitely look into how we can make this product better. Thank you. Take care.